<laughs> These are the final moments before Sergeant Matratana was killed in a police custody centre in Croydon in September 2020. My name's Matt, I'm the custody officer, I'm in charge. He was speaking to Louis de Zoiza, who had just been arrested, when suddenly, out of nowhere, he is shot. De Zoiza was handcuffed when it happened with his arms behind his back, but still fired four shots before being overwhelmed. The prosecution believes the gun was concealed under his armpit. Sergeant Ratana was 54 when he died, an officer for nearly 30 years, he was near retirement. His partner was in court when footage of his death was played. De Zoiza also shot himself during the incident and was left brain damaged. His arm in a sling, he sat in the dock in a wheelchair, on trial for murder. The jury was shown the gun de Soiza allegedly used in the shooting and was even allowed to fire it inside court. A ballistics expert explained it was safe to use because it had been loaded with plastic dummy cartridges. Members of the jury then aimed it at the ceiling before pulling the trigger. I'm right. placing you under arrest okay. for sure. possession of what I believe to be bullets. De Zoiza had been arrested just before the shooting after a police stop and search. Officers found cannabis on him and ammunition, but not the antique revolver he was carrying in a holster. I'm just going to have to put you in handcuffs while I search you. The reason... What's the matter? So the reason for that is people try and do silly things when we search them. They try and hurt themselves, they try and hurt police officers. The 25-year-old denies murder. He claims he was suffering an autistic meltdown at the time and that he did not mean or want to kill Sergeant Ratana. Ivor Bennett, Sky News, Northampton.